Welcome today we will learn about how to write a program that will get binary number and convert it into equivalent decimal number. Before writing the program we have to understand how these two different number system can be converted with each and other. So let's start by understanding here we have an example of given binary number that would be converted into equivalent decimal number. Here in the subscript of the each number its base or radix is given. So what's the process we have to go through? For this conversion, we have to get the digits from the given number. Here, we can say that first digit is 1 and second digit is 0. Here in number systems, it may be octal, it may be decimal or binary. In number system, each digit in a number has a specific position. These are also called least significant bit or most significant bit. This is the least significant bit. This is the most significant bit. Each and every number system has number of digits in it that composed a number. We are required to convert it into the decimal format. So whenever, whenever we have to convert any number system to the decimal number system, any number system, it may be binary, octal or hexadecimal, we have to get each and every individual digit from the given number then multiply by the provided base of the given number raised to the power of its position. The same method I have to repeat, we have to get individual digits from the given number raised to the power of the position by the given numbers base or radix. It's okay. Now we will consider that how we can get now we are going to discuss the algorithm how we can get each and individual digits from the given number. The process will go through from the loop. The question is that how to get each and individual digit from the number. So the answer is that first of all we have to take the remainder from 10 because we are going to convert the given number into the base of 10. We have to get take remainder from the 10 remainder will the last digit remainder is the last digit that we can draw from the number then reduce the number by dividing it by 10 these are the three steps that we will follow to convert any number system into decimal number system okay the method will be in the entire algorithm is much more simple and much more easy we have to just understand or follow these steps first of all we have to get the remainder by taking modulus of the given number from 10 and then we have to reduce the number by dividing the number by 10. Why we are uh, reducing the number in this step? Because we have to get the second and third and next most digit from the given number so that we are going to divide it. So let's start by creating a new project in dev C++. Here is the dev C++ as multiple times we have discussed we have to create a new project using console application. We have to write here let's suppose we are writing here uh, B to D and selecting the C++ project ok. We have to save it. We have to save the main file D to B or was, D to B to D ok. Now these are the comments line as multiple times we have discussed that this is the basic structure as already written in every div C++ project that is created for the C++. Here we have to create a long int type variable. Let's suppose this is called bin or any other variable can be taken as the alternate of this identifier. Now we have to take input in this enter binary number okay we say that enter binary number we would have to save it in bin variable after this we what we will have to do as we have discussed in the detail of binary to decimal conversion we have to first of all follow the algorithm steps we have to take remainder from 10 until the number goes to 0 until the number is after number dividing or reducing reducing by goes to zero because whenever we will uh, drop a digit from the number it will reduce whenever we will drop a digit from the number it will reduce until it goes to zero we have to repeat our step what we will have to do 
we have required some uh, other variables let's suppose this is the decimal variable that is used to declare uh, store the decimal value that is calculated by the multiplication of the provided base and we have also required a counter variable that will initialize by the zero and we have required a remainder this is remainder is the temporary variable that will use inside the loop to hold the temporarily remainder each and every time we have to just say that while bin is not equal to zero until the given number after dropping its digit from the right hand side not equal to zero sorry we are we have to write down the zero what we will have to do we will have to repeat the same steps as we have discussed these two lines are much more important to understand for each and every conversion of the number system to the decimal number system we will collect the remainder by modulus operator we will reduce the number by division operator okay the same step i am going to do here we have to rem is equal to what when modulus number modulus 10 this will provide provide last digit not this line is reducing the number by last digit this is only providing the last digit in the form of remainder now we have to reduce the number that whose formula is main is equal to bin divided by 10 this will drop last digit from number okay now what we will have to do the next step is this is the formula that we have discussed in the demonstration or understanding the algorithm of the decimal to any other number system to the decimal conversion what's the formula formula lies here this is the formula we have to multiply and store the results of each and every individual digits by multiplying multiplying the given base and raise to its position okay so let's start by doing this we have decimal is equal to decimal plus remainder the remainder is the digit to which multiply with or this function is used to get the power of the remainder position uh, for using this power function we have to also introduce here a library that is called cmath in dev c++ that i have forgotten to include this library in the program this line is uh, required some kind of explanation uh, i am going to explain this line clear cut basically this is the entire loop that will iterate itself until the given number that is in binary form not goes to zero because number reduces by zero we have to first of all in first step we have to get the remainder of this number each and every time because this one provided is the algorithm that we have also discussed in the previous this will after getting the remainder from the number we have to reduce the number by dividing it 10 to the required base this formula is last one we have to collect each and every this is the remainder let's suppose the digit multiply we say that we are going to convert the provided binary number system to the decimal number system so that we put here two if we have octal number system we have to put here eight if we have uh, hexadecimal number system we have to put here 16 we will also discuss these hexadecimal to decimal or uh, octal to decimal number system in later uh, in our lectures but now we are going to discuss the same criteria with alternatives we have to just understand the algorithm all other conversions are also easy and what is the purpose of this i this i is the position uh, from least significant bit to most significant bit in the given <coughs> sorry in the given number it will increment it by one we have to increment it its value by one as each and every while loop is incremental so that we are going to increment it by one 
this is the complete algorithm that will work to calculate the decimal to binary conversion okay the code for this is also available at instms.com uh, for the program to convert binary to decimal number we can also read here okay now it's time to compile the code before uh, compilation i have uh, to write the equivalent the decimal number number uh, here we can say that DEC okay let's try to compile the code here is the error why this error is occurring because we have do not use using name space standard because uh, C out and C in objects belong to the standard namespace okay we have to again compile the code I am giving here 1010 zero, one, zero. we can see here 1010 zero, one, zero binary is equivalent to the decimal 10 so the program is executing very smoothly I have to again uh, check the output of the code by using input any other number such as we can say that 101 zero, one, that is equivalent to 9 we can see here 1001 zero, zero, one is equivalent to 9 we can also put any other number to check the output again 10 is normally equivalent to 2 in decimal and 10 in binary number format so this algorithm is working very fine we can also follow the step and understand the real situation that how this algorithm or program can work we just have to change here we just have to change here in 2 8 or 16 for the conversion of octal hexadecimal and binary so nice keep watching subscribe our channel thank you